Hi guys, good afternoon. Just coming up to one o'clock, the ECB press conference in, in 30 minutes. Uh, we'll come on to the Euro in a touch, but just uh, how the Nasdaq finished yesterday below its previous all-time high on the 2nd of September. It's just under a bit more pressure today. You've got a couple of key support points, of course, uh, coming up. Uh, but I just wonder, are we going to start to get a bit of momentum here to the downside? The high the 13th of October to keep an eye on and also the low that we had not too long ago on the 30th of November. Potential trend line all coming in the mix there before 12,000. Uh, all will be levels where people will surely keep an eye on. For the S&P, I think it's got a bit more room to go to the downside before panic could come in. The low from uh, 2020, this trend line matches up quite nicely. For panic to come in, you know, we're going to have to look at another 60 five or so points here really getting us below on the day or week below 3600 in this trend line and then you can start to see a bit of a, a bigger move you know towards 3500 but at the moment equity is under a bit of pressure um also brexit talks yesterday uh not amazing not horrible you know they're still agreeing to talk but it feels like they can it's just getting pushed down the road but currently as it stands uh just on the 133 handle which is also some very key support going back to the 24th uh, uh haven't had a close of a day below there that would be significant uh, at the moment we you can see we've had another failed test as we had on the the second this monday and of course today so yeah it's, it's struggling to to confirm that break lower but the day is young and i'm sure comments will come out i think this the sort of deadline on Sunday will be extended, but that's not necessarily going to be a good thing in the build-up to that. So I think pound remains under a bit of pressure. The euro, as mentioned here, uh, is is up following the, the announcement. Rates obviously kept unchanged. But the important uh, part here on the daily close will be whether we come back towards that 120 or not. At the moment, it's in this range. It has been stuck for, for a while. And I was just looking earlier at this on... You know, two forty or four hour uh, time frame. I think really the the next trade is going to be when it breaks out of this. I'm I'm not too interested in, in trading this for now. Um, I I quite like the idea of a long above, or if it breaks uh, below, and obviously that really brings in the one twenty handle as well. Gold uh, poor day yesterday. I've actually been of the view that we've seen the low. Um, for for that to to reign true, I, I need 18.22 to hold. I think that's really the, the key point. And we'll call it a bit of a zone, really, uh, with the low that we had on Monday. But that needs to hold for, for this to you know, be a, a good support point to push us continue to the upside. And at the moment, it is under a bit of pressure. However, it is off those lows that we had this morning. So keep a watch on that and how that does materialise. Uh, as I think, of course, you know, if we go back to that daily chart, if it does unwind then you know, this is actually just proven to be a false break to the upside, well, gold could really come down quite significantly. So for me, really keeping an eye where we, we close the week and, uh, and um, well, the rest of the year. The last three Decembers have been very positive for, for gold. You know, if we just have a quick look here at the weekly chart, I'm going to remove stuff you've got. The sort of the where is, where is it December here good push up you get again December good push uh, admittedly uh, November two thousand sixteen wasn't that great but uh, yeah certainly the last three have been uh, good in in relatively light volume conditions does it go again now we'll obviously have to wait and see anyway guys hope uh, hope all is well hope you've had a uh, a great day so far keep an eye on the ECB uh, which is in thirty minutes.